of my new song only you jesus only you jesus this song is coming live shortly it's going to be launching in about three three minutes actually two and a half minutes i'm going to be launching my new song live on youtube and it's going to be broadcasted everywhere you can watch the new song the new video is beautiful good to see miss frida Huaweru. god bless you and any other one that's on board i can see all the people I just want to pray before the launch. The song is about to launch in two minutes. So I want to pray and bless this song. If you can pray with me and believe that this song will touch people and bless their hearts, that this song will be a blessing to many around the nations. Father God, I thank you as I release this song to your people, as I launch this song to the nations through social media. I pray that, Lord, you will use this song to break chains of bondage. You will use this song to break 
people from affliction and addictions of the enemy. You will use a song to bring deliverance and a message of hope. Let the people know that only you, Jesus, can deliver. That only you, Jesus, can change a man like you changed me. That only you, Jesus, is able to heal, to save, and deliver. That only you, Jesus, is able to keep them from falling that you have called unto your side. That only you, Jesus, is able to change circumstances and change situations of our lives. Only you, Jesus. So as I launch this song, I pray that your people will be blessed, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I commit it to you that whoever tunes into my channel or on social media or on TV networks and they find this song or they walk, run into this song playing, they will be blessed indeed because it is a song that has been blessed and released to the nations. I give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor because you are a good God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Jesus. Here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I lift my hands to the sky Where does my heart come from? It comes from you Only you Now, the key went down Oh, I need my dish high The key found Oh, the young is there Your smile is you Is you, is you, is you Oh, is you, Lord Is you, is you Lord, you are my redeemer, El Shaddai, Adonai. Lord, you are my redeemer, El Shaddai, Adonai. See if I, is I could do, is I could do, when my I could do, I could do Sing now, when you know I could see for Tell my heart I need to wake up Be called a Jew, see fine Is I could do, I could do When my, I could do, I could do Sing now, when you know I could see for Tell my heart I need to wake up Be called a Jew, be called a Jew I praise you Kutosha, damu yako mendi osha I owe you my life, Lord Everything that I am I owe you my life I owe you my life, Lord Lango mefungua, chasho mepanguza Umeni pena ni mela Yeah Umeni pena ni mela Lord, you are My redeemer, El Shaddai
Only you, Jesus, is able to heal. Nobody else is like you, Jesus. Wewe pekee Yesu ndio waweza kuponya, waweza kumkomboa kijana kama mimi ndio nikomboa nikiwa nikiwa form 2, form 2 Nairobi. St. Teresa's Boys Secondary School, Isili Nairobi. Oh my goodness and the Lord changed my life and from from that day I was just a little young boy trying to find my way around and figure out how to go about life but the Lord changed my life. I'm telling you only you Jesus is able to keep all these years oh Lord keep me loving you and following and chasing after you. In spite of the downfalls and the pitfalls of life I still follow you Jesus. Only you deserve the praise, only you deserve the glory. Only you is worthy of my praise. Only you is worthy of all my honor, Lord. Only you deserve my honor and my worship. There's no other God that deserves worship than you. There is no other God that deserves to be exalted and worship than you, Jesus. Only you. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Resha takabosha. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Invite your friends to join us so we can have a good time of praise and worship. I got a bunch of songs coming up. Invite your friends, share the link, let them join us, and we have a good time together.
Invite your friends to join us as we worship the Lord as I launch my new song. Go to see Marianne Wainaina. God bless you all the way in the Middle East. May the Lord bless you as you continue serving the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're worth your praise. Kenya and Tanzania. Good to see you, Ms. Lola, my friend. Good to see you. God bless you all the way in Kenya. And uh, any others that are joining us, Miriam, God bless you. And any others, we are launching my new song, Only You. And uh, I just launched it about, uh, about 14 minutes ago, and I'll play it again later. But it's on YouTube right now. So if you can do me a favor, jump in in YouTube and grab the song and go to Jesse Moringa YouTube and look for Only You and share with your friends. Let them enjoy the song and share this link. I would appreciate that so much. Dorcas Gugi, I can see there. Please, I appreciate your support. God bless you as you continue to praise the Lord. But if you are a Mugamba, Mugamba, Mugamba. Tendera, tu amere, eh, kama mugambo, 
kama mugambo Tuwame Sada kaka ni mimi ni toe Ona feva Ame ni pa feva Cheko kani mimi ni cheke Ona hapi Moyo huko hapi Ame weka ujasiri Wadia fani Hosi ukopi Vita twende Sana, sana, sana. This song blesses my heart. I just love this song. I just love this song. 
Now I'm going to play you my new song that I just launched a few moments ago. It's called Only You, Only You, Jesus. And here it goes. Listen to the new song. Yes. Only You, Jesus. Uh-huh. I lift my hands to the sky Where does my help come from? It comes from you Only you Nikki we don't own a need my day shine Nikki found own a young as they are smart It's you, it's you, it's you, it's you Oh, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. Yesu, that's the new song. But if you are share it YouTube. Manda kwa YouTube, Mr. Jesse Maringa, YouTube, and look for only you, Jesus. Na mushe na wenzenu, but if you are ili bana zidi kwa bariki na posifu na kumuinua Yesu. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Santa Yesu. Muna barikiwa, muna barikiwa pale. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Mana bariki tu kienda kuendelea na nyimbo za kufifu. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Kimbia, only you 
birthday yesterday was my birthday so today I said you know what it's my birthday instead of going what the people of the world they do normally they have big party they drink they drink and party and eat nyama choma chapati they eat ugali nyama choma they get drunk and get silly drunk I said you know what it's my birthday I'm thanking God for another year so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna launch a brand new song today and I will spend my night it's 3, it's 2.52 a.m. in America where I'm at, it's, I'm in Texas. It's almost 3 in the morning. And like a crazy man, instead of being asleep in bed, I am praising the Lord. I'm beginning my year with praise. I'm keshering, na kesha la Yesu. Na sema leo Yesu, mimi nita kesha hapa, niti kusifu. I will spend this time lifting up the name of Jesus, saying, Where when niwangu wazima wa milele. Because when you start the, your ear with the Lord, when you start your ear with the Lord, when you commit your days and your weeks and your months to the Lord, He, he blesses, He brings on you. He blesses your, your life, what ahead of you. Whatever you commit to Him, He brings on it and blesses you. So let us join together, invite your friends to join us and celebrate my birthday. Wish me happy birthday. Come on, somebody, and, and pray for me that I can keep on praising the Lord and leading you in His presence on this media in the name of Jesus. Yes. my 
baby sister Edith all the way in Juja, Kenya. God bless you. Yes, when you live for Jesus and live a life of worship and praise, you learn to commit your ways unto the Lord. You learn to commit everything to God. You realize that He is the beginning and the end. He's the of Alpha and the Omega. Listen to this. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing a, a, a psalm of David here. Listen to this. Lord, oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. This is Psalms 98. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made his salvation, has made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly shewed in the sight of heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. So make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Verse 4. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the earth, make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord with a harp. Sing unto the Lord with a harp, a harp with a harp, and with the voice of a psalm, with trumpet and sounds of cornet. Make a joyful noise before the Lord the King. Let the sea roll, let the fullness thereof the world, and they that dwell in their reign. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he cometh to judge the earth with righteousness, shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Our God is a good God. The Bible declares and commands me and you to sing unto the Lord, to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So I chose tonight at 3 a.m. in the morning to wake up and stay awake and praise the Lord and lift up the name of Jesus and say, Lord, I commit my new year to you. On this birthday when everybody is saying happy birthday to me, I say, oh, thank you, Jesus, for your grace over my life. I want to commit the next years of my life, the next half of my life, whatever God you have in store for me. I want to make sure I commit it unto you that way. You can make it beautiful. You can breathe on it. You can put your hand on me and guide me and lead me. You can put your hand on me and show me the way because Lord, unless you go with me, I will not go. Because unless God, you know you go with me, 
I do not know where to go. Unless you go with me, I am lost like a ship without a mast. A ship without a sail in the waters will be lost in the sea. So Lord, like a ship without a sail, I'm saying, oh God, I am lost without you. But with you, Jesus, I will find a way. With him, I'll find a way. And so I choose to commit him, commit my life to him. And let him be king and, and let him be the Lord. Let him be the author and the finisher. Let him be the guide of my life so he can lead me and guide me. And I can sing the good old song that where you lead me, I will follow, oh Jesus. Where you guide me, I will go. Where you lead me, I will go. And listen, when you let the Lord lead you, when you commit your ways unto the Lord, he never lets you fight your battles alone. He fights them with you. It, it's amazing how God has been with me all this uh, since I was a teenager, since I was 17, when I said yes to Jesus. Through the mountains and the valleys, I've seen his goodness. Through the valleys of life, I've seen his goodness. Through the downfalls and the pitfalls of life, through the mistakes that I have made, I have still heard his still small voice calling me back home, calling me back to his presence. He has always reached out to me even when I felt like I was giving up. He reached out and pulled me out of the mud and clay and he told me, son, I love you. I still love you unconditionally. And so tonight I worship him. Tonight we worship him together. We praise him because we know he is a good God. Because the Bible says make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Make the Lord be known. Let the Lord be known. Listen to what the Lord says. Once you commit your life to him and let him be the Lord of your life, you no longer fight your battles alone. You no longer walk alone. You no longer go all by yourself because he goes with you. Because the Lord reminds me in Exodus 15, he reminds me that he is a victorious warrior. I was reading this tonight, last, uh, last night I was reading the scriptures and I was encouraging somebody who was going through hell on earth and I said, listen, listen, the Lord says to you tonight in Exodus 15, then sang Moses to the children of Israel this song unto the Lord. You see, when, when, the, when the devil afflicts you, attacks you in every corner, it is not time to, to take off and go and hide in a corner. It is not time to be defeated and coil up in a corner and die. It is time to run unto Jesus. And to call upon his name. And to cry for his mercy. And to cry for his hand to be upon you. And sing a song of victory even before you get your victory. Sing a song of victory before you see even a sign of victory. Begin to declare those things that you wish to see come to pass as though they are. Begin to sing, oh King Jesus. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Listen to what Moses taught the Israelites to do. They got together in a time of affliction, in a time when the enemy was coming up against them. They got together. Listen, I'm going to play a couple more songs, but listen to this real quick. It'll be just two minutes. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord and spoke saying, I will sing unto the Lord for he hath trampeth, he has trampeth gloriously. The horse and the rider has he thrown into the sea. See, Israelites are singing this song after God delivers them from the, from, from the Pharaoh's army. The army was mighty and great. The army was coming to destroy them. After the Lord had delivered them from the slavery of Egypt. Now they're going to their freedom. They're going to Canaan, the land of milk and honey. And Pharaoh realized, oh my goodness, I just lost my labor force. I just lost my slaves. I just lost my labor that I've had for 400 years. I gotta go after them. He says, I'm gonna go after them. I'm going after these people. So he sends his mighty army with a mighty chariot to go after the children of Israel and bring them back to slavery. Get them back in the yoke of bondage. See, the, the devil hates to see you rejoicing. He hates to see me praising God. He hates to see you, Kenny Philos and Mary Ann, becoming victorious. He hates to see you getting victory and blessings. So what the devil does is try to get you back in the bondage. Try to get you back in the pitfall. Get you back in the thing that got you trapped last year. Get you stuck in the same mess that you were in before. So he goes to and tells his soldiers, go get them Israelites back here. And they come against them. And you know the story very well. And they come against them. And the children of Israel get to the end of the road. They see the sea. The Red Sea before them. And behind them they see this mighty army with chariots. Almost like chariots of fire. They look at the water. They look at the Pharaoh's army. And they ask Moses. Why did you bring us here to die in the wilderness? Why did you bring us here to die in this wilderness? You should have let us stay in Egypt and eat the leeks and the onions. Now we're going to die here in the wilderness. Now we're going to die here in the wilderness. 
but the Lord had a plan of a deliverance for them. The Lord has a plan to deliver you and me. Even when we are going through hell, through attacks of the enemy, if you trust in the Lord, if you believe in the Lord, he has a plan and a purpose for you. He has a plan to deliver you from your trap. So the Lord sent Moses and told Moses, what do you have in your hands? What do you have in your hands? And Moses said, I have a cane. I just have this stick, Lord. And the Lord told Moses, I will use what you have to give you what you need. I will use what you have, Eunice, to give you what you need. I will use what you have, Kenny, to give you what you need. He told Moses, what do you have in your hands? He said, I have this stick. I have this cane. And the Lord told Moses, smite the water with the cane. Smite the water with the cane. And now the Israelites, I mean, the Egyptians, are getting closer and closer and they can almost feel the breath of the horses coming against them. And the children of Israel are crying and cursing and saying, why did you bring us here to die? We're going to die in this wilderness. We're going to die in this wilderness. Should have let us stay in Egypt. At least in Egypt we had some good food. We had some garlics and some lemons, some onions, some bread. Oh, we want to go back to slavery. You should have left us to die in slavery. That's what the devil wants us to say. He wants us to dwell in slavery. He wants us to long to be back in the yoke of bondage. He wants you to be happy back in the yoke of bondage. He wants you to be happy to be back in the trap of the enemy. He wants you to choose to prefer to go back to the club. Because at least in the club you get free drinks. In the club you get free girls and boys. In the club things are fun. The music is good. At least you get some food. You get to dance to the beat of the music. You should have led us to die there. But the Lord tells Moses, strike the water. And he strikes the water. And you know the story. The Bible says the Red Sea was split up into two. And it says those two mighty rolling walls that rolled up like a book. Oh, like the book. It rolled up like this book just opened up. And suddenly there was a deep valley with dry land on the bottom. They could see the dry land and they could see the fishes, the fish walking, crawling around the creatures of the sea on the bottom, all washed up to the side. And they had a dry land and George, Moses told them, get in and walk you into your freedom. And they walked through the open sea of Red Sea. They walked through in freedom. And the Bible says when they all had walked through, they were praising and worshiping the Lord. I can imagine them singing this song. Listen to what they were singing. They were saying, the Lord is my strength. <laughs> and when I go back to verse 1, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath trumpeted gloriously. The horse and the rider has he thrown into the sea. Because as soon as the Israelites had crossed over, Bible says when the last of the Israelites had crossed into dry land on the other side, on the Canaan side of the sea, the Lord told Moses strike the sea again. And the same way the Red Sea had opened up, when he did... It closed up and the Bible says as the sea closed up on the horses and the men riding them, all those golden chariots, the Bible says, all those mighty soldiers of Pharaoh were covered up in the sea and the sea rolled and consumed them. And the Bible says you could see chariots flying and the wheels flying in the water and in a little sprinkling of an eye, they were all consumed by the waters of the mighty Red Sea and they were gone. And now the Israelites who were complaining, who were complaining and telling Moses, why you brought us to kill us here? You know, they suddenly they had a song of praise. They saw the Lord deliver them. They saw the miracles of God. They said, oh my God, you have saved us. And they got a new song. And they sang this song to the Lord. The Lord is my strength in Exodus 1, 15 verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my song, for he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My Father, my God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. They saw the Lord fight for them against, Israel, against uh, Pharaoh's army, and they said, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariot and his host have he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the sea. The Bible says that 
Pharaoh had sent his finest men, he sent his finest captains to go after Israel. So when the Lord consumed them and covered them in the sea, Pharaoh lost his best soldiers. He lost his best captains. He lost his best generals. The Lord is going to do that for you. He will destroy the king of the enemy's generals who are coming against you. He will consume the enemy who has been coming against you. The kingship of the clan of the enemy that has been sent against you. He will set a snare and a trap to destroy the enemy for your sake. And they said, oh, Pharaoh's chariot and his host has he cast into the sea. His chosen captains has he also drowned. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, the depths have covered them. They sunk into the bottom as a stone. The right hand of the Lord is become glorious in power. The right hand, O oh Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy. Now they can sing a song of victory because they have seen the works of God. They have seen the victory of God. They have seen the, the army of Pharaoh covered up in the sea. And now they are singing a song of praise. They are worshipping the Lord. They are saying the right hand of the Lord is become glorious in power. The right hand, O oh God, God has dashed into pieces the enemy, and in the greatness of thy excellence, thou hast cast overthrown them that rose up against thee. He said, I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. I have some echo here. He says, In the greatness of thy excellence, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sendest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. And the enemy said, I will pursue them. He had them fooled. The enemy thought when the sea was opened, it was opened for them too. Let me tell you. There are things that are only meant for God's chosen. Prophetess, Prophetess Nyla, is good to see you. There are some things that are only set for the children of God. They are not to be touched by the enemy. They are not to be touched by non-covenant people. The blessings that are set just for you, the enemy cannot touch it. When the enemy tries to touch it, the Lord destroys him. He strikes the enemy. That way he can protect that which belongs to the church of Christ. He can protect that which belongs to me and you. He, God, you know, God is a jealous God. He was like, no, 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 no. This miracle is for my children whom he had oppressed for 400 years. It is for my children who he had oppressed in Egypt. It is not for you to grab. It is for them to enjoy. So he destroyed them by the striking of the Lord. Now you can sing a song and say, the Lord is good. My God is a mighty soldier. My God is a mighty warrior. You can play a song of praise and sing to the Lord like this. And say, oh Jesus, I praise your name. 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 Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Na inua mikono yangu Juu na paza sauti Sikia kilio changu Baba Sikia maombi yangu Sikia kilio changu Baba Sikia maombi yangu Majibu ya kutu Yeah.
Answering God, Yesu Hajibu Ujiba Maomi. He answers prayer. Our God is a prayer answering God. I just thank God for those that have joined me tonight as I've crossed over on my birthday into a new year, into my new. Um, I'm getting a little old. I'm getting a little old, but inside I feel the Lord has renewed my youth. I feel the Lord has continued to renew my youth. My prayer tonight and this morning for those in uh, Africa and Europe, my prayer is that as, as you continue to trust the Lord, just like the Israelites were cornered by the army of Pharaoh and they had the Red Sea in front of them and this mighty army. Uh, during those days, Bible historians say that the Pharaoh's army was one of the best armies in the world, that the most sophisticated, that the most powerful. So Israel was faced by the most powerful army on one side and a rolling mighty Red Sea on the other side. But God had his hand on them. They trusted God. And they cried to God in their foolishness, in their innocence, in their murmuring and grumbling and complaining to Moses. God had mercy on them. And God opened the Red Sea. He told Moses to open it, strike it. I pray that the Lord may send you a word or a voice in, t in a time of trouble. He may send you a voice, a song of deliverance. He may give you a song of deliverance in a time when you need help. He may remember you if you're going through some tough times. Your family is afflicted by situations, sickness and disease and attacks of the enemy. Wherever the enemy has brought against you. You feel like you are the Israelites cornered by the Red Sea and the army of Pharaoh on the other side. I pray that the Lord send deliverance to you. I pray that the Lord send deliverance to you. I pray that the Lord remember you. That the Lord strike the enemy and swallow them in the sea. I pray that the Lord give you a way of escape. That you can escape from that danger. That we can be able to be restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs>
damu yako yakombo We give you glory tonight, Father God, as we close. I pray even as we close tonight, O oh Lord, with a song and a dance, that your name be glorified, O oh God. Your name be praised, your name be lifted up, O oh God, because you are a good God. I pray as we close, Lord, you receive the glory tonight. You receive the worship and the glory, Lord, because there is none like you. There is none that compares to you, Lord. I give you praise. Give us a song of victory, a song of victory, a song of victory, a song of victory that we can close knowing that, oh God, you are a good God. And knowing that you love us with a passion, oh God. Father God, as I start my new year, I pray, remember me, Father God. I pray, anoint my voice to continue being a voice to the nations through worship and through your word, oh God. Anoint my voice to continue, Father, being relevant to my, my generation, oh God, that my days will not be wasted. I will not look around and wonder where time went. Help me to number my days and to, to count every day as precious, every hour, every minute as precious, and do not squander the opportunity you've given me, but instead help me to be a wise man. And those that are hearing me, I pray may the same be upon them. May the same anointing be upon them. May the same grace be upon them. May the same love of God be upon them. May the same joy of the Lord be upon them as we worship and close in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mugambo. Mbarikiwe sana. Na wapenda sana. Kenda ladies. Miss Kella, listen. This song, this is one of my best songs. Ooh, makes me want to dance all night. 313, 320 a.m. in Texas, and I'm still up here praising the Lord like a crazy man.
God bless you. God bless you. Happy birthday to me. Send me a little gift. Send me a little happy birthday, something, a gift, a song, anything. It's my birthday. Bono Bariki Sana. Rachel, pretty good to see you. I'm going to lock now and get out of here. It's time for me to go to sleep. It's 3 30 in the morning. Bariki Sana. See you in two weeks. God bless you and keep you. May He let His light shine upon you and give you peace. May He make a way for you where there seems to be no way. May He conquer your enemies and give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Love you.